So in that moment, you're internalizing their, their projections. It might be real. Okay, so let me see if I get this straight, right? You, maybe you get some good news and you go home and you share it with somebody. And in this scenario, what happens is they, they don't share your optimism or your excitement or your joy about it. And, you know, maybe you've studied psychology for a while or read some books and you realize that probably what's happening here is that they're projecting onto you. But yet, even though you're kind of aware that they're projecting onto you, you're still upset by it. You're still sort of, it hits you, it lands on something. So really what that is, is it's your opportunity to look at that belief much closer. Whatever the doubt that they're projecting onto you in that moment, and they may very well be projecting, okay, is, and if it's landing on you, it's bringing up a, a, a secret insecurity or fear that you may be in denial about. Okay, so, okay, while in some moments you might feel very optimistic and hopeful about the whole thing, on another level, there is fear of the future. There is fear of the outcome about how this whole thing is going to go. So it's, it's basically just reflecting back to you your own insecurity in this. So it's not to be defensive about it necessarily. It's to, to look at, okay, why am I reacting to this? What is this triggering? Now, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good point to say that, okay, well, should I be reacting to this? Why am I letting their input affect me this much? And really, you could, you could say that it's, it's, you could internalize their insecurities or their uh, hesitations or their pessimism. So it really is your opportunity to say no in that moment as well. It's much like in childhood, you know, the things you learn in childhood that were not true about you, maybe limited beliefs that you heard in childhood. In childhood, it's, it's almost impossible not to internalize those things, especially if they're coming from authority figures. And that's what happens in childhood, which is why psychotherapy often a lot of the time does go back into childhood, try and look at that. But as, as an adult now, you become more aware of these things, hopefully, and you do some work on yourself. And every time someone is doing that, it's just to look at, it's the question, is, is what they're saying true? Is that true? Do they have any evidence for this at all? Do they know that that's true? Keep questioning everything other people come to you with especially if, it, if it's not making you feel good. But the other thing, the last thing on this I would say is, let's say you do go to somebody and they are constantly kind of undermining your hopes and your ambition or they're not making you feel optimistic about this at all, right? After a while, and if that's a pattern that keeps happening over and over again, you really have to ask yourself a question. Why do I keep telling the person this? Why do I go to this person in particular about my excitement when, when they're not really meeting it with encouragement? Okay, now someone that loves you and cares about you will show lots of excitement and encouragement and occasionally then talk to you about, your, about their insecurities or reservations. So some of that okay, is okay. But if, if, if it always seems to you like they're undermining you or putting you down or, or kind of putting the brakes and everything for you ask yourself why do I go to this person because that's where your power is in this am I choosing to go to this person for this reason to under to kind of sabotage myself a little bit and then you just choose the type of person that is going to give you the right balance of feedback the right amount of encouragement and the right amount of sort of let's just think this through a little bit more as well and again, it's always that ratio, I think, of 80-20 80, 80, seems to be pretty good. It's like 80% of it is encouragement. Great job. Well done. I'm on your side. I'll help you with this, maybe. And then 20% of, okay, let's look at this rationally, or let's slow down and let's look at this specific part a bit more. Um, in general, you know, what we're talking about here is they're projecting onto you, and how do you handle that? Generally speaking... 
okay it's, it's okay to think about that sometimes but most of the time what we want to be talking about is my own projections it's just way safer ground it's it's kind of dangerous territory to be going into what other people are projecting it's first of all it's a full-time job to work on your own projections and that's the path to emotional freedom anyway so I would, I would say to, to, to someone in general, don't be worried too much about other people's projections because it is a guessing game anyway. And all your power is in reversing your own projections. So that's where I'd go.